This is what Archbishop Blake said about the Bible. Christ says, keep away from the Bible. But wait a minute, is he truly a man of God? He is said to be the presiding Archbishop of the Open Episcopal Church of the United Kingdom. And we are going to get deeper and uncover what the Open Episcopal Church is. So from the article you see on your screens, the Open Episcopal Church, that is OEC, is a liberal Christian denomination. It has bishops in England and Wales and clergy throughout the United Kingdom and internationally. The church has over 29,000 members. The church was the first in Britain to ordain a woman as bishop and to perform religious wedding ceremonies for gay couples. The OEC, which is the Open Episcopal Church, is a member of the International Council of Community Churches, which in turn is a member of the World Council of Churches and Churches Uniting in Christ. So friends, from the article we just read, we can see, we can clearly see that the Open Episcopal Church is already in apostasy. The church is already in apostasy because it openly supports and promotes sodomy. So friends, no wonder a pastor from that church is openly talking down on the Bible. Christ says, keep away from the Bible. The living Christ says, these writings you have put together into one book, the Bible, are a historical account of various events and people's thoughts about them. Such writings should not be regarded as accurate always or right and rarely God's word. There's a lot wrong with them. Christians have made the Bible into a weapon with which to injure people and hide their motives. God has no need to communicate through an ancient book. God speaks today. Good people, they listen and they can hear my voice. So put the Bible down, my friends, and listen to all those shining with light and overflowing with love from every faith and nation and philosophy, for they speak God's word for today's world. So friends, did you hear that? Did you hear what he said? Where did Christ say that we should keep away from the Bible? Show me where Christ said it. This is just a lie, you know, and he is promoting the agenda of the devil. That is what I can say. He is promoting the agenda of the devil because it is the devil that doesn't want you to read the Bible. And, you know, this open Episcopal church that openly accepts and promotes LGBT lifestyle, they posted this on X, formerly known as Twitter, and I'm going to share that with you right now. Um, they said, is being gay a sin? And they answered, no, sins are acts that separate us from God and keep us from loving our neighbors as ourselves. And they went on to say, being gay is not a sin. Bullying is a sin. Being hateful to other people is a sin. Putting yourself in the place of God to judge others is a sin. Being gay is not. So this is a church. This is a church, a Christian church, telling the whole world that being gay is not a sin. And how can this be a true church of God? Meanwhile, the Bible clearly shows that the practice of LGBT is an abomination. A church that is of God will never promote sodomy. A church that is of God 
will never say that the practice of LGBT is not a sin. And the pastor, I don't even want to call him pastor, Mr. Blake also said in his video that we should keep away from the Bible because God does not use the Bible today to communicate to his people. And friends, that is a lie. God has so many ways of communicating to his children. And one of the major ways through which God communicates to his people is the Bible. So 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 15 to 17 tells us that, and that from childhood you have known the holy scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. Verse 16 says, All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and it is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Verse 17 says, That the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. So this is what Paul the Apostle was saying about the Bible. If the Bible was not good enough, Paul wouldn't have said this about the Bible. You know, Paul wouldn't have said this about the Word of God. And what Paul said about the Word of God is so true. You know, the Bible is God's Word. The Bible instructs us in ways of righteousness. Friends, so I would say that God has His church and the devil also has His church. God's church is leading people in truth through to salvation and the church of the devil is leading people in error through to destruction. We cannot disregard the Bible because it contains the truth. It contains the message, even the message of the cross. Friends, do not let the devil deceive you because he knows that his time is very short. So he is doing everything possible to deceive people. How can a pastor, how can a bishop tell the whole world that we should keep away from the Bible? Friends, before I go, you know, the Bible warns us many times of false teachers and false prophets who have been sent by the devil to deceive people. And so, friends, we should be vigilant as Christians because if we do not take care, the devil will deceive us, but God forbid. This is all that I had to share with you today. We are exposing errors and pointing people to the truth. This is not an attack. We are not attacking any church, but we are exposing errors and pointing people to the truth. May God bless you for watching this video. Share with friends, share with family, share with everyone. Let us expose the devil. May God bless you.